What's up you guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video let's take a look at AMD stock. Guys, so what's been going on? Yeah, it didn't go through the flush. We are going up today. So is this bullish or are we still in the no man's zone? Are we still or are we turning bullish or have we already turned bullish? And if we did, how uh, what are the areas we need to be watching on this to keep confirming those bullish plays? Again, I said if we'll see through this video, if we have gotten bullish and or if this is just because overall all the semiconductors have been going up today and is that's the reason this is also going up or the whole market is up today, is that's the only reason it's going up, but eventually it's going to continue its own directions. We'll talk about all of that stuff in this video, guys. So with that, before that, Please note, none of this is any financial advice, only for education purposes, only sharing my opinion just as an educational opinion. You go and do whatever you want to do. I play no role and no part in that. Also, please hit the like and subscribe and let's begin. So, AMD, uh, we were talking about that the way, well, the way the candle closed actually yesterday was green body, but when I was doing the video on this, it was looking red, right? But yes, we didn't lose that sort of like this thing still got bought back up yesterday but uh, if it if it would have closed red closer to this bottom line around 164 area is that's what i'm looking for this flush play down to 151 it's still not out of the picture okay we are still below 20 days moving average below 50 days moving average as long as on daily interval we are not above 174 we haven't started capture the long bullish sentiment on this okay Yes, it's looking bullish right now, but I want to see it recapture and get above and close above 174. Then only for me, AMD will negate all the downside and this will look for the upside, at least to the next level of 184. Right now, though, yes, intraday plays are still ongoing on this. That's great. But to talk further more on the direction, if this is still a choppy thing or is starting to turn bullish now, what it is, right? Let's talk about that. So yesterday I was talking about if AMD can recapture 168 and 60 cents, this zone, this area, we will start to change the structure on this, right? It will start to look for upside. It did, it is doing that. Okay. It, it is, it has recaptured it. You can see, we also have a support over here at that very level of 168 and 50 cents. Uh, let me take you to the, um, five minutes interval so uh, this that's also our one of the day trading levels plus right so that's that's the area right it's finding this support after dipping it found support went up yes it's resisting at the next level 170 you can see the area of resistance also marked by my indicator if you need access to my tools links are in the description below and this is this is where the this is where right now the triple <laughs> acting resistance is right for the day though now let's go back to okay okay before i go back to the hourly interval if we can close the day above 168 and 56 cents it's still technically bullish okay uh, for tomorrow as well yes intraday is still bullish on the daily interval 174 dollars may make me go swing long confirmation as well on this but right now if it stays above 168 and 50 cents area then it's still bullish if it closes above that if we lose that today then this bullish pattern is being negated but let's go to the hourly interval but since we have been finding a good support there let's see but as you can see this is still reacting and rejecting at this previous supply zone uh, at our one of the levels also marked already by my indicator so we Sorry, yeah, we have still the intraday long, we got that, but for for today, yes, the play was above 168, you pretty much got $2 move, confirmed $2 move, but if you are a day trader, you already know, you know, how to use the levels with the pivot, so you can see that when we had this buying up yesterday, today it found a support at one and one of the another level and formed a higher pivot, so this was already in a pre-market confirmation that things are gonna go to the upside. So yes, AMD is forming some pivots now. 
So you can also use this trend line here now on the intraday levels especially that if AMD can stay above it even after going below but if it stays above it comes back up yes this is its area to push through up to the upside and let's see if we find another pivot and that pivot could also be guys depending on its strength if it stays above 168 and 61 cents I don't want to draw this pivot here because it's very steep uh, with with this area it's very steep pivot usually 45 degree and around or a little bit lower 45 to 30 degrees in between Usually if there are pivots forming in that area, that's the best thing. So yeah, AMD, if, as I said, if it can close above 168 and 60 or 50 cents, 168 and 50 cents around that area, it's still bullish for tomorrow. If we lose this area, expect some choppiness though. Okay. That's, that's what it has been doing. Choppiness, right? It's struggling to break full on the levels up. And as if we break above $170, there's an intraday play that could be tomorrow maybe to $174. Nothing is guaranteed. We are just doing level by level with the stop loss on the other side. It has to be. But these are the areas where you would expect the price to react the most. So if it breaks out of these levels, the next level comes in play. All right. If it resists at these levels, that's the time to take profits if you're in position or to start preparing that, okay, this is where the move is a little bit stalling. Let's wait and prepare for the next move. So now also though guys uh, 174 getting above this is so critical to make it fully bullish that will be the swing bullish that will be a break of structure full on on the swing as well because of you can see so much of resistance putting put around there 200 hours moving average is coming here as well and also this 20 days moving average is still we are still below that so it has to get above 174 to make it again swing bullish but until then yeah intraday bullish can be done as i just talked about those levels and to the downside right now it's not the play to the downside right now is not that smooth to the downside we have to see a price action lose the level of 168 and 59 cents and then i would say wait to lose this 20 moving average as well or, or the trend line because yeah right now the structure is not that confident again on the downside yes we are still swing bearish as at least at the moment but price on intraday on the lower time frames has started to confirm some uptrends and that's how you trade between intraday and swing intraday turns into swing and um yeah i mean yeah that makes sense right so yeah intradays and that's where smaller moves can be taken even though on a bigger picture we are still in the downtrend we haven't received confirmations to the upside fully which is 174 at least to begin with but on intraday yes we have received the confirmation so all right, guys, so that's AMD for you guys. And yeah, that's that. I'll, I did a video on NVIDIA as well this morning, guys. Check this out on my channel over here. That will tell you a lot about how NVIDIA has turned full on bullish. Like this is what I talked about, that NVIDIA is bullish. Yesterday I talked about it. Today it's rocketing. If you have access to my day trading bot, my swing trading bot as well, you already are in the money you i'll show you i showed you my day trading bot in the morning as well i'll show you again on nvidia after the market has closed as well so just so you know okay anyways guys this video was for amd uh, while we are here i just want to show you qq and spy as well so guys yeah um i talked about yesterday that i will yes this whole distribution phase market is making it really hard you know yes this is what i have been saying a distribution phase the way that today's candle is though, right? It's very strong. And if it if it can negate this distribution phase, if it can have a clean breakout above 448, guys, get prepared for next leg up. Yep, that would be it. So you get the understanding of why the stop losses are so important, regardless of whichever direction you are trading. But yes, this will be negated as a distribution phase if we can break above 450. I can't just, this thing is just so bullish. But yeah, distribution is getting out of, oh, well, it's looking very strong to get out of this distribution phase to the upside. SPY, today, good buying back up happening on this again. It is, yeah, as soon as it gets above 580 and it's already negating this distribution phase. Yeah, that's just, just too strong. It's just too strong. Uh, guys, that's the thing. Like, I would wait for a clean breakout on either side. Otherwise, it's still a distribution phase. But if it breaks on the cleaner side, that's when the play begins, okay? And 
that's that's what it is that's the name of the game that's the market guys all right that's all for this video found it helpful valuable hit the like subscribe i'll see you in my next videos guys take care bye